Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Lost Judgment, Old Man Sublimity, and let's go check out that camera. Bet money they... Someone's blocking that shit. How does it look, Yagamishi? Anything unusual? Let's find out. Huh? The heck is this? Did you find something? Yeah, a sticker on the lens. The fuck? Uh, uh, Yagamishi, behind you! There he is! That's the pervert who set up the hidden camera! Pervert! See, when you find a hidden camera, your first thought is to take it down. That's wrong. What you do instead is block the lens. That way, when the perv finally notices, he goes back to fix it and BAM! Caught in the act! I get it, Amasawa. Just stay back. Hey, what is it you're doing over there? I told you, he's trying to peep on us. Oh, wow, that girl's pretty sharp. Looks like we've been caught red-handed. Come on, let's catch him already. You really want to do this. Stop! Hey, wait! Bye! Ha 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 ha! Oh god, Yagami. Are you safe, Yagami? -shi? Seems like you're in a bit of a pinch. Yeah, you think? See, the chairman should have told all the teachers. But that's the problem. If you tell the teachers, then the teachers can make a big deal out of it. And not just a big deal. Um, uh, Yo! so that was new. You should see a ladder that goes up to the gym's roof. That's my advice. Got it. Can I go all Batman up in this bitch? Don't panic, but the school just contacted security. Several guards are en route to your location. Great. Just what I needed. Bro. Some stupid thing like someone said they fell down the steps and we're trying to figure out if they we've had the incidents of people all falling down the stairs. We're using this opportunity to see who if it's an accident or if people are starting shit. Where have you been watching from this whole time? From the drone, Yagamishi. I found what? a spot that's pretty inconspicuous. Right Right the fuck in front of me! Use the drone as a guide and jump from that roof toward the classroom. You're gonna have to clear a big gap. Oh god damn it. Right. I'll try not to die. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay, that sucked. Yagamishi, it looks like some of the guards have arrived. You think you can make it out of there? <sighs> I'll have to somehow. But before that, I'm gonna need to set up these speakers. How about I change? After all that? Yeah, I should be able to make a clean getaway. As long as I'm done before security gets too tight. Are you serious? It'll be fine. All I have to do is not get caught, right? Besides, I have the world's greatest hacker on my side. You know very well I'm weak to flattery. 
but for the glory of Yokohama 99, I will not let you down. Let's get this mission started. God, Sukumo. Be careful here. Unfortunately, I cannot take them down. Like I said, I should be able to help you get to your destination without incident. Make sure you don't lose that earpiece, okay? Got it. Counting on you, Tsukumo. Plus, how did you manage to find the camera, little girl? Damn it. Not happening. And this was the shortest route to Class 2-2. Two -two. Uh, nothing we can do but find another route. Give me a moment. Yagamishi, it seems the rooftop might be a more viable option. Let's abandon this route and try it, shall we? Yeah. No sense waiting for the guards to just give up their posts. Let's check out the rooftop. Oh, I see now. Damn it. The hell, another roadblock? My apologies. I'm afraid that was a blind spot. Well, shit. Yagamishi, how many guards are there? Hmm? There's just one. Just one? Well, in that case, let's just get that guard out of your way. You got a plan? <laughs> of course. Yagamishi, it's time to put that thing I gave you to use. You mean this ball or whatever? What does it even do? But it's kind of like one of those anti-theft balls, actually. You fill that ball with powder or liquid and throw it at your target to blind them. Right. So what's inside this thing? Oh, just some peppers. Peppers? <laughs> Is this really going to work? Now, now. Don't doubt the magician. Just take my word for it and let it fly. Okay. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Right in your face! Bye. Oh, damn. It worked like a charm. <laughs> what did I tell you? But, Yagamishi, that only works once. You'll have to procure a refill on your own. Yeah, I got it. That doesn't help. First off, wrong side. Oh my god, Yagami! Really? walking just keep walking just keep walking you don't see me you don't hear me la 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 da 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 Damn it all, damn it all, damn it all to fucking hell. Eat my shit. Get turn around. I walk by, la la la, going through stairs, la la la. Tsukumo, can you hear me? If I keep going down this way, I'll just end up back at the scene from earlier, right? The landing where you were accused of being a pervert? Yes, that's correct. You have any idea how it's looking right now? 
I'll take a look. There's no sign of that sharp girl who framed you. The onlookers seem to have dispersed too. Oh, then I'm good to go? There is one guard posted there, but I'm sure you can get past him. Yeah, piece of cake if he's alone. <laughs> oh, fuck all kinds of duck. This is bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. 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 A bunch of bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> Woo! Woo! If I can keep on moving, moving, moving. Fucking bucket! Class 2 2. Nobody in sight. Roger that. <laughs> Seems like those guards were no trouble for you. Yeah, except for a fucking Thanks high schooler. Well, better set up those speakers while I can. Well, what are these speakers gonna do? Sound. You'll actually hear what they're saying. But wouldn't you need microphones, not speakers? Tsukumo, could you say something through the speakers? Oh, uh, testing. Testing. Today's forecast calls for sunshine and heavy security. Perfect. Speakers Spook the hell awesome out of them. Below. Almost like you're in the room. Does this mean your setup is complete? Yeah, I've pretty much done what I can. Crap! Hey. Huh? Hi, but. Oh, no, you don't. You stay your ass right there. For Go what? Than the boys. I see you got security all riled up. They've been looking all over for you. Didn't think you'd be dumb enough to stay. Could have sworn I saw you earlier at lunch. Now where have I seen that face? Oh, you're the guy from yesterday. The guy who stole my fucking phone. Oh well, really? You got proof of that? Some payback. Don't lose heart, Yagamichi. You've already come this far. Right. I can get through this. Who the fuck are you, and why are you in our school? No answer? You're only making this worse on yourself, you know? Are you gonna swipe some girls in gym clothes or something? How are you defending that when you're a bully? Does this mean we could beat the answers out of him? Oh, yeah. We'll end up as heroes for breaking this nasty-ass pervert. Sick! I always wonder what it'd be like to shatter a human bone. Uh, huh. What is this shit? This guy doesn't mess around, Yakun. We all need to take him at once. You sure you want to do that? Get him. Whoop! Bye! What? Yeet! <laughs> Holy shit! Bye! <laughs> what is this? Ah! Where the fuck did you come from? Oh shit! Well, at least I'm in the hallway. 
Okay. Make the call, honey. Snake or crane? Oh. You are gonna be Tiger when I'm done. You can't get caught now. They'll label you as a sex offender. You don't want that on the news, do you? No, can't have that. How do I get rid of that thing in the corner? I gotta figure that out. Just to be clear, you attack me first. <laughs> Hello. That was new. That was awesome. Can I leave now? <laughs> Should I have gone easier on them? No. Never mind those guys. You need to make yourself scarce. Unfortunately, you're on your own from here. Why? We must need to make our exit now, too. We'll all regroup at the office, okay? I got it. Uh, uh. Can't I just go into one of the rooms and just... Change? Okay, I guess that somehow happened. Okay, so... That was a thing. Ow. at the sky look at the sky tell me what do you see and clearly it's the floor <laughs> I got nothing better to do ow Stay down. Let's go. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I just jumped over. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, shit, 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 fuck, shit, shit, off, off, get off! Uh, well, can't go back there as a repairman now. <laughs> oh, man. You almost got arrested and put on the sex offender list. There's Eat no shit. way to screw things up that bad. In all seriousness, those bullies got what was coming. I kind of wish you messed them up worse. That way, they'd never bother Kodasan again. Yeah, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. Not everything can be settled with a fight. What? Yeah. Wow, look who's talking. But that's where those speakers come into play, isn't it? Yeah, if everything goes as expected. Hey, you did everything you could, right? So we'll see what tomorrow has in store. Yeah, if the girl hasn't committed suicide already. This really is one of those sensitive matter type of games. Or at least subjects uh, that's brought about in a game. But I'm kind of curious. What the hell is he planning to do with speakers? Well, let's see what happens. Oh, God. Really? Why? Yo. So, are you gonna come out to lunch with us or what? No. Don't you have anything more to say than that, Coda? Get your ass up. Come on. Matsun's really not in the mood to deal with your shit today. That's his problem. Oh, Eat lunch here, okay? Huh? You're giving us lip now? I guess you won't be needing this stuff then. <sighs> we told you to get your ass up, you little slut. Oh, maybe you've started fucking guys on your lunch break now? <laughs> You're out here living the dream, aren't you? <laughs> Enough. Get your ass up. She this got a short skirt. Hold up, Coda. You should be thanking us for even inviting you to come. So slow. I can't fucking stand you. Come on. Well, damn. What? So much for my appetite. You guys are making me sick. Making it look like it's hey, the others. Who the fuck said that? We're making you sick, huh? You guys talking about us? You see anyone else being assholes? Of course he's talking about you. He yeah, placed them where the others say. This shit's getting old. The fuck? Ganging up on the same girl day after day make you feel real big? Unfucking believable that it takes three of them to do the job. Seriously, you guys? You're taking Koda's side here? You know she's just a whore, right? You okay, Koda san? Just ignore these losers. How low can you go? Calling someone a whore isn't gonna win you any points. Right. Let's hear it for the picture of purity over here. Uh, what the hell? Hey! She can dish it, but she can't take it. Hope the boys are watching. What? What the fuck, man? If you wanna talk shit, say it to my face. What part of this don't you understand? <sighs> yeah. You know what, guys? Ha! It's true. You guys just need to leave her alone. He's right. He's totally right. What's your problem with her anyway? Yeah, Koda didn't do anything wrong, guys. Exactly. So back off Koda-san already. Stop acting like little punks. Get the hell out of here. When you guys go into lunch, go choke on a chopstick. Oh, how does it feel now? Just get going, would you? Yeah. Toss them out. No! <laughs> oh. What is going on here? What's in Fuck this. Yeah. Let's just go. Fuck it.
I remember the one time I actually talked back to a bully in my high school. Like I'm sorry, but it was like the grandest day of my life because I made her shut the hell up. Oh, hell no! The teacher didn't even get mad at me because she's all- the girl was always talking shit! It's no, like- I'm saying, I got in trouble for mine because I blacked out. Psychology. Oh, that's your problem. There's this concept called the bystander effect. I literally looked at the girl and just told her, bitch, will you- I didn't really say bitch, I just told her, shut the fuck up! Nobody cares! And then when she tried to turn on me, I'm like, uh, no, I'm getting pissed. My panties are in a bunch, which she, that's what she told me, like, what the hell? It's like, no, my panties are in a bunch because I have to listen to you every fucking day. Just shut up. You're either here to learn or you can just get the fuck out. I'm tired of this. And as much as the teacher was mad, she's, she literally looked at me and was like, yeah, no, dude, I, I really can't be mad at you. Penguins are the same way. Ever seen a flock of them hesitating to take a leap into the sea? One takes the first plunge and the others all start following after him. The first penguin, you say? It's a fascinating term for a display of bravery. I've heard it said that overseas in America, the first penguin is a symbol of respect. So for Yagamishi, that would mean your voice was the first penguin in that classroom. I can't say for certain this resolved your bullying problem. But here's hoping it's at least a good first step. Yeah, it tells people to stand up. There we go. They're gone. You should be safe from them for a while. <laughs> good. So, the question is, why did they start on her? What do you say we monitor the situation for now? Might not be wise for adults to intervene just yet. I suppose your plan has worked out for the better. Hmm. Maybe but now you won't be, be so kind teachers and administrators handling these matters, not detectives. I gave you, know you a push. I couldn't agree more. Then if you'll excuse me. Maybe a thank you? Oh, come on, man. Lighten up a little. You didn't have to rub it in her face. I didn't. You know what she thinks? She thinks we're some bums off the street trying to meddle in academic affairs. Well, then, I apologize on her behalf. Uh, no. But Yagami-san... You so don't apologize. She can. She got a voice. Hard to admit this at my age, but I learned quite a bit from what you did. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Good stuff, Yagami-san. Naturally. I knew you would deliver. <laughs> huh? Well, hopefully no one recognizes me as a supposed pervert. Sorry, uh, I have to take this. Hey, this is Yagami. This is Shiosaki. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure. Sorry, what the hell? I have a rather urgent request for you. It concerns a trial we've been involved with. Listen, sorry, son. Uh, I'm a little busy. I don't know if I could take a rush job at the moment. We aren't even in Kamacho right now. Actually, I'm in Yokohama. Really? That's interesting. I'm helping Sugiura out with a case for his new agency. We're on site right now. At Serio High School. Uh... Sorry, son. Are you there? Seiru High? Somewhere near Ichincho? Is that the school? Hmm? Huh? Have you heard of it? A college age student teacher from that school went missing about two months ago. It was all very sudden. Huh. I think I heard something about that, actually. He himself was a Seiru High graduate. He'd returned to his alma mater to finish his teaching credential. Just a sec. How do you know so much about this? The teacher's name is Hiro Mikoshiba, and his body was discovered a few days ago. They found him in one of Ichincho's abandoned buildings. Huh? The body was badly decomposed, 
the Kanagawa police have just released his identity. Yeah. Moments ago, in fact. Moments so, ago. This is gonna end today. Someone who caused someone to commit suicide became a teacher? Before the police even confirmed it. A sex offender, Akihiro Ehara. I defended him in court. The day Mika oh, you would have had to defend me later. Arrested at the station for groping. He's also an active duty officer. So you're saying he committed the murder too? No. The victim was still alive while Ahara was at the station in Tokyo committing sexual battery. He was caught and arrested on the spot. And he's been in jail for the two months since. So if I have so his spot, hand jerked. We don't... And wait, the there was a camera on the right. train? But there's more to it. A few days ago, someone lit flares at the location of Mikoshiba's body. It obviously... How do you know his hand didn't jerk and just so bump her ass? But whoever that it's a is, tight train. Shit can happen. Yeah. Otherwise, there's no other way he could have known about the body. Exactly. There's clearly more to Ehara than an officer turned groper. More than likely, he's an accomplice to murder. That or someone told him about okay. it. So do we have a motive? Four years ago, Ehara's only son hung himself in their home. He was a student at Seiryo High at the time. And the way yeah. he sees it, his death was the result of bullying at the hands of his classmate, Mikoshiba. You mean it's revenge? In that case, could he possibly have hired someone else to kill the guy in his stead? It's highly likely. As for my request, I'd like to see what you can find out. Mikoshiba's murder is too suspicious. Up until today, I wrote Ehara off as just another train groper. But he got arrested for that on the exact day that Mikoshiba was killed. It can't be a coincidence. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better alibi than being arrested for a different crime, right? Otherwise, the cops would have pinned him as suspect number one. But groping as an alibi? Why go to all that trouble? There had to have been He was groping in the middle of his death. I'm worried. As his attorney, I have the time they, there's a chance. You know, it's like one of those things. How can he be in two places? A critical oversight. Even worse, I let a misguided court issue a verdict. I can't allow that to stand. Mm. I need to reconsider both the harassment and the murder. Because I think the truth is these cases are one and the same. Yeah, like 89. Well, and the three year murder of a resident. Can you see if anyone at Seiryu High will talk about Mikoshiba? Right now, we need more information. And the first thing we should focus on is how and why he disappeared. That could give us a lead. So, does this mean you're hiring me? It does. Consider it an official request, if you would. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> No better feeling than when the jobs line up perfectly. <laughs> that's kind of funny, though. In all honesty. And that's it for this. All right. This is getting good, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to stop here. And stay tuned next week.